So in this part, we are going to add the sliding functionality and it's basically exactly the same as our, um, as our attack. The difference is that he should only be able to slide when he's running because it makes no sense that he's standing and idling and suddenly he's just sliding on the ground. So the point of the slide is whenever you're running, you can press the slide button and he'll start sliding on the ground. So let's try to go to the sprite and select the characters. And in here we'll have some let's see slide somewhere. Did I already pass it? No, no, I didn't. Here it is. So create the function or the, the animation exactly the same way. Select the first one, hold shift down, click on the last one, drag it into the scene, delete the new slide, delete the controller, move the animation to the animations folder, and rename it to slide. When we have done that, we will have to add it to our controller of the player. So take the slide and move it into the animation uh, animator here. And then we'll have to add a transition from run to slide and from slide into run here. And don't worry if you stop running while sliding, it will simply just jump right away back to the idle through run. So we can say we're running, we start sliding, we stop running, well then it jumps to run and then to idle. It's nothing you'll be able to notice, I think. Okay, um, the, uh, what's it called, the slide here will have to be implemented so that we can ever, we can um, start sliding when something's true. And the, the return should simply just be, be exit time. So the return value here is already set, but we will have to add some functionality for starting to slide here. So instead of uh, using a trigger, I will actually try to use a boolean because I think that's going to be handy for us later. So we'll have to add a new um, parameter. So select the parameters here, click on the plus and select the bool. And here we'll have to write slide. So if slide is true, then we start sliding. Um, let's try to click on the arrow back and add a condition. The condition we need is called slide true. So if slide is true, then we start sliding and we don't need an exit time and we don't need a fixed duration here because we need to slide right away when we run. This means if we start running and I will click the slide button, I can't do that because it un slides it. There we go. You'll see that it actually keeps sliding here over and over. First of all, the sliding animation is right now um, uh, looping so we'll have to remove that so click on the slide go to the loop time and remove the loop time so that it doesn't loop so if we check the slide to be true well then we start sliding all the time when we're running still and of course it goes back to run because we have an exit time here so it jumps back and forth between these two the point being is that we should run click the slide button we slide and then we go back to running so now we have set up our animator with the slide animation and now we'll have to go to our script to add the functionality in there. Okay, so inside our script we will have to add a new bool. Underneath attack we have private bool attack here. Let's just say private bool slide and we'll have to set this one back to false in our reset function. So if we scroll down and find our uh, reset, let's try to zoom a little out maybe, reset values, we have to say slide equals false. So when our loop is done, we also disable our slide here. Okay, um, the next thing we'll have to do is to trigger this um, sliding function and we can do that inside our handle movement. So let's find handle movement, it's right here. Uh, no, that's handle input, handle movement is here, there we go. So inside our handle movement, we'll have to trigger the slide. So if slide is true, yeah, and this that my animator that get current animation state info zero that is uh, is name for example if the name isn't slide. Okay, so we can start sliding if we are allowed to, if slide is true, and 
the animator is not already playing the slide animation here. Because if it's already playing the slide animation, well then there's no point in trying to slide again, so we don't get that infinite loop. If we look at the animation, you'll see that it's called slide. So we're looking, we're trying to find, sorry, here. We're trying to look for this name. We're not using a tag because we only need one slide animation. The reason that we use an, a, a tag on the attack animation is because we're going to have a jump attack and a ground attack and so on. So instead of just, um, instead of just adding a slide tag, we'll simply just look at the name here. So we say if we are sliding and our name isn't slide because we have this negative one here. If that's the case, well then we say animator dot set bool. My animator, sorry, my animator dot set bool. Slide with non capital S. True. And again, it's very important to write it the same way. If I would have done like this, then it would never work because my slide is written with a non capital S here. Okay. Um, yeah. Then it's true. Let's try to save this. Um, and we also need to reset it somehow. Um, let's say else under here. Let's say um, else if I could write else if. So if um, this is that my animator dot get current animators the info zero name. If the name is slide isn't slide, if I could spell correctly, there we go. So if the name isn't slide, well then we need to say uh, my animator that said pool false. Oh, sorry, slide false like this. There we go. Um, this basically means that if slide is false, um, it goes down here and checks. Well, if the animator current state info um, slide is, is not true, well, then it sets the bool slide to false. Basically, we could move this around to a more logical place, um, but I, I just want it to be together here where I set it to true and I set it to false. Basically, yeah. we could also move this to the reset function here. Um, but let's just keep it together. So basically here we make sure that we slide when we can slide and here we make sure that we're done sliding basically yeah. Okay, um, let's see is there anything else we need to do? Let's let's test it out and see what happens Then we can always come back and change the functionality if we need to add some more stuff So we can move if I stand here and I press The button. Yeah, okay, of course we haven't bound the button. Uh, I of course forgot that. So inside our um, handle input, we of course need to slide. So um, apparently I'm very bad at clicking here. Uh, handle input here. If input dot get key down, I'm gonna use key code dot uh, lift control. How do we have that somewhere? Apple lift control there. So if we click the lift control, then we say slide equals true. There we go. So now slide should be set to true. When we do that, well, then our handle input is going to run. It says, well, slide is true and we're not playing the slide animation. Well, then we say animator that set bool slide to true. The next time handle movement runs, well, then it says, well, slide is false and we're not playing the slide animation. Well, then we just make sure that we set the slide set bool to false right away so we don't try to slide again. That's basically what we're doing, yeah. So let's try to run this. We can't slide when we stand still and idle. If we run and click the slide button, he starts sliding and then he's done sliding. When he's done sliding, he just runs. There we go. And if I stop running, then he simply does like this. But right now, the slide is not very... Um, it doesn't really make any sense right now because you can slide and you can like turn around and slide the other way like this. That's not, there's not the point of it. And you're not supposed to stop sliding like this. So basically when you run and you click the slide, he should just slide away 
in a direction until it's done sliding. So that's the the trade-off. When you want to slide somewhere, you can't just change your direction like this. So let's try to add that functionality. And it's fairly simple to do that. If we go to our handle movement, we have this function here that allows us to move. And basically we can add in front of it if my animator dot get boom uh, slide. Um, yeah, and here. So if the slide pool isn't true, then we can move. But the second we start sliding, the get pool slide gets set to um, to true, and we can't move. So as long as it's false, I think I said true before. But as long as the slide and uh, slide pool is false, we can move and we click the control button, well, then it gets set to true, so we can't move anymore. So let's try to run this. So if I run and slide, well, then I'm not able, I still am, let's see here. Maybe I forgot something, let's try to save. So let's have a look here. Um, okay, so the mistake here is what I just told you guys not to do. I'm checking if slide with a non capital S is uh, I'm checking on the non capital S and that's this is always true so if I would run this game you'll notice that whenever I slide this slide here it gets it to fault right away you barely can see that it actually gets triggered here so I will be able to do this all the time so we need to make sure that slide is not changed before the slide animation is done so we need to change this to slide with a capital S because that's exactly the name of my animation here. So before it checked, well, is the slide animation with non capital is running? Well, it's never running. So it will always set this one to false. Uh, maybe you already noticed that when I was writing the code. So basically it should work now when I change this to a capital S. Let's try to save and jump back into Unity and run it over here. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm not able to change the speed or anything. It slides and then it keeps uh, it keeps sliding when it's like, um, I only, uh, even though I get let go of the keys and that's the point, right? When you start sliding, you just slide. You can see how he slides in the air right now, but we will not be able to fix that until we add some uh, level he can run around in because it's kind of hard to figure out where the ground is when we don't have any uh, any reference point. So when we add the level, we can fix the sliding as well with by changing its pivot point. It's okay that you change the direction of him. Doesn't matter because he's running and then he's sliding. Um, but um, as long as you can't change the uh, movement direction of him, then it's fine. You can also add some more if statements if you don't want him to change direction like this when you're sliding. So that was the slide. Um, I think in the next uh, video here we are going to add the level so we can add some jumping functionality and everything because that's basically all we need now is the jumping and all the collision and stuff.